Coming up on Hands on iOS, I am going to show you a ridiculously simple way to improve the phone on your iPhone. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether they're working in the office or remote. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by LastPass. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. Alrighty, folks, it is time for another simple step that you can take to improve the experience on your iOS device, in this case, your iPhone. So I have to tell you, one of the most annoying things that I have had to deal with in the past and that I'm sure many of you have had to deal with is our robocalls. Those calls from random places that are just there to annoy you, to try and offer you some timeshare to some random place or try to get your opinion on something. They just come in all the time and it gets very annoying. And I know that the government, the, the FCC, is working on a way to curb those ridiculous robocalls. And there are many options, uh, often with the carriers, particularly here in the United States, to curb those robocalls. But there is a simpler step you can take, a very quick and easy step. So let's dig in and see what that's all about. All right. So as per usual, we are going to be going to our iPhones. I'm going to launch the settings app and I'm going to scroll down until I get to phone. I'll tap on phone. And you see some information here about your, your phone. It's got, you know, your number, uh, whether calls should be announced, uh, some, some options for Wi-Fi calling, calls on other devices, etc. But the most important step is one that was added recently to iOS, and that is call silencing and blocked contacts. This is the feature du jour, if you will. Uh, and let's go ahead and read what it says. This says that calls from unknown numbers will be silenced, sent to voicemail, and displayed on the recents list. So, when you turn on this feature, if the number that is calling you is not in your contacts, is not a recent outgoing call, or is not a Siri suggestion, and more on that in a moment, then it will automatically silence the call and send it to voicemail. And then you can see in your recents list within the phone app that that number has called you. So instead of those robocalls being able to get through and say you're playing a game or you're, you're in a Zoom call or whatever you happen to be doing on your phone, those will not be interrupted by ridiculous calls from people you don't want to hear from anyway. That is why I love this feature. By turning that on, it will automatically silence calls. Of course, turning it off again will bring those calls back, but by golly, once you turn on this feature, I don't know why you'd want to turn it back off again. Now, let's talk about Siri suggestions. So, Apple, of course, introduced Siri uh, way long time ago with the iPhone 4S, and with that came the voice assistant that we know today, whether we love or hate that voice assistant is, you know, up for debate. But over time, Apple has added more machine learning and, and uh, smarts to the iOS platform. And with that, they've decided to name those additions Siri as well. So Siri suggestions are essentially a machine learning, artificial intelligence, uh, knowledge base system that helps to provide suggestions for you based on how you use your phone and pulling in information from multiple places to provide more information to you. So an example of this is if you have the uh, mail app logged in and you use mail and it syncs with iCloud and everything's all locked in, then Siri can actually understand that a contact where, say, someone named Joan Rivers emails me and their little uh, signature at the end of the email says Joan Rivers and then underneath it is PH colon for phone and then their number is there. And then that number were to uh, text me or call me. Siri with its knowledge of your platform, of all the different systems that work together, can say, 
hey, I think this might be Joan Rivers that's trying to call you right now. And then you can provide the response to that. Say, yes, that is Joni Joan and have that call come right through. So by turning this on, Siri suggestions, that smart feature, will make sure that those calls still come through. It's a very handy thing because you don't want to miss calls that you really do want. And so with Siri suggestions as part of that, it makes sure that the important calls, especially those from Joan, uh, do still make it to your device. That's literally it. That's what I have for you this week because I had to share this simple feature with you. A lot of people don't know that it's buried in there. So you just open up the settings app, you head to phone, you scroll down to call silencing and blocked contacts, and you flip that switch. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Hands on iOS. I do appreciate you all for subscribing to the show. If you aren't subscribed, head to twit.tv slash HOI and subscribe to the show in audio or video format. I recommend video, uh, but you can do either. And if you're on YouTube right now and you have yet to hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. And then make sure to hit that like button as well. And if you have the opportunity, you might want to turn on that bell because that lets you know the second a new episode of Hands on iOS is published. I do thank you. And of course, be sure to reach out if you have stuff that you want covered. It's simply hands on iOS at twit.tv. Now, in the future, if you would like, I will be covering some call blocking and identification apps as well. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Hands on iOS at twit.tv, or you can head to Twitter. I'm at Micah Sargent there. Let me know that's what you want, and I will be happy to cover it. But until then, go out, silence those calls, block those ridiculous robocalls, and kick them out of your phone. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by LastPass. It's always important to have a plan for the unexpected. LastPass can be deployed quickly in the midst of any event to ensure your business keeps running smoothly and every employee login is secure. Single sign-on manages employee access in a centralized view, so IT always has insight into who has access to what from where. LastPass protects while providing a seamless workflow for your employees. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. Be sure to check out the other shows on the network, like my other show, Hands On Wellness. I love to share different tips and tricks that's going to help you get a better grasp on your personal wellness. Just go to twit.tv slash how and subscribe now.